Well, how do you look? This is a uh, this is obviously as you know about a tidal a soldering iron kit that I've had for some time, and I thought now is a good time to open it up and uh, have a give a little small sort of review on it. So for those of you that have never seen one of my little reviews, I'm going to unbox it in this video. We'll have a look on it. We'll turn it on. We'll see how long it takes to heat up and stuff like that. Then I'll be using it for a few weeks or months or whatever, however long it takes before I feel I can either say it's good or bad, and I'll make another video. So you know, this is how it comes. Um, I found they do them on Amazon, probably do them on eBay and places like that. It's a whole uh, <laughs> whole life soldering iron kit is what it is. Whole life soldering iron kit. I can't read that back front. I might better. No, it's back to front the whole time. So, it's a, a whole life soldering iron kit. It's a model DS045A. An input is 220 to 240 volts, 50 hertz, 60 watt. Um, temperature 90 degrees to 480 degrees. Manufacturer Shedding. <laughs> no idea. It's China. Uh, Network and Technology Co. Ltd. Whatever that is, the rest of them. Uh, they've got their whole bloody address on it. And all look. Uh, Shen Shenzhen, China. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's, it's obviously made in China. Comes in a very plain box. To tell you the truth, when I, I've had this for a while, actually, and um, when it first came, I thought it was going to come in like a box with all the stuff on it, but it just comes in a plain box. So let's hope. That it's actually pretty nice, you know. That it's hope it's a good kit. So when you open it up, you get the instruction manual, solder iron kit, user manual, anti-static, adjustable, and constant temperature electronic soldering iron. Yeah, I'll read that later and see if the English is any good on it. Um. You get what's this? Uh, this looks like the reel to put your. You know, you get like a reel of solder somewhere. I think you're supposed to get a reel of solder with it anyway. Um, power cable. Here's the actual. Oh, look. There's your your petty little sponge. With any luck, that should expand when you put water on it. I hope it will anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get a reel of solder with it. Oh, yeah, we do get a reel of solder. Yeah. There's our reel of solder. Bit of packing, a bit more packing, so we can get rid of the packing. Stand on here. Oh, bloody hell. Got to build it all by the looks of things. Um, so we get lead free solder. I don't use lead free solder myself, I think it's a load of rubbish. So um, I might use that for some small projects, not on not on circuit boards and things like that. No, I'll be using it on maybe something else, uh, whatever, I don't know. Um, let's just straighten this camera up here. Yeah. So we've got that, we've got a petty sponge, we've got our tips, little bag of different tips. Uh, you, know, you get like a, well you just get a different tip, it depends which one you want to use for different applications. Some people prefer thicker tips, some people prefer thinner tips. Um, oh yeah, I forgot as well. We've got helping hands for this. It's been a while since I ordered this. Um, because I usually, I usually just use the ordinary, this is my soldering iron that I use usually, you know, just the ordinary soldering iron. What's this one? 40 watt soldering iron. I've got a 15 watt one as well, that I use for my circuit boards and stuff. Um, I've got a quite, a, I've got a, quite a few old soldering stations, but they're old ones, they're Weller, Weller ones. Um, but I thought to myself, you know, let's try it and see if any of these these cheaper ones are any good. You've got your um, tip cleaner there, soldering tip cleaner. It's built into your built into your little station there. Look, and that's where your sponge will go. The sponge will go in there. Uh, soldering station DS05A voltage 50 hertz, is what max. Yeah, it just tells you a little bit of stick on the back there. It's pretty normal. Looks like you got your on and off and your temperature up and down there. So, right, I'm going to put this together now, put the helping hands on, and then we'll, you know, I'll tell you what I think of it, and we'll turn it on as well. 
All right, so I've got it here. I put it together. I put this on, but I probably won't be using this. I've put another reel of solder on it. This ain't the one that come with it. It's just another reel that I've got. I put on it just for like to show you. Yeah, you know, it's supposed to. You're supposed to, be able to just put it out like that. Um, but I probably will take this off and not use it because I I don't tend to sort of have it like that. I'd rather hold it, you know. Um, but it's there, and obviously you got that. I haven't put the water on the sponge yet. But let's plug it in and see what happens when we plug it in. Um, is it on? 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 Got the helping. Got me helping hands. Look, hello. Little clips. They're fairly handy. A lot of people don't like helping hands. I personally don't ever use. I've got a, a separate helping hands thing that's just like a little stand with some little clips on, but I never use it. Uh, anyway, let's turn it on and see what happens. What temperature is it at? Is it going up? What's what's it what's it doing? Is it heating up? I take it. Must be heating up. I'll leave it. We'll let it do its thing. 280. Is it getting hot? Oh, it is. It's getting hot quick, I tell you. Yeah, it is getting hot. 350. Oh, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> it's definitely hot. Let's get it right up to 400. Yeah, it's going up, look, it's going up. Four hundred degrees. Yeah, is it hot enough to melt some solder yet? It did get hot pretty quick, didn't it? Yeah, look. That gets hot very quick. Very nice. Well, I must say, that did get hot quite quick. I mean, it's 60 watts, so what do you expect? You'd expect it to get quite hot for 60 watt, wouldn't you? So, at the moment, obviously this is just the unboxing, and it's not, uh, you know, the, the full uh, review. I don't know, obviously we've got these other tips here, and I've got an extra screw for some reason. I don't know where you get an extra screw. And one thing, that's, oh, I know what that's for. That's for doing those up. I couldn't work out why they give you a little spanner. But I've only just... I've just worked it out to do those up. Typical, typical, I suppose, me or whatever. I haven't read the instruction book yet. Let's see whether the English is any good in it. Um, function settings, have a look. Sleep setting, that's oh, got a sleep setting, is it? Centigrade and Fahrenheit conversion. Press the plus button until you turn on and until you turn on the power switch F on the screen is for Fahrenheit temp display mode press min plus and minus button to converse the temp display if no operation is performed in five seconds it will save on the it will save and then exit the conversion setting the scene oh I, I take that back uh, it's not very good English actually um, Install the iron spring holder onto the tool slot. Put the tin wire holder on either side of the tool. Make two installation holes on the wire holder and the tool side aligned, then screw it. Yeah, the, you know, the instructions are alright, but, you know, what do you know? A soldering iron's a bloody soldering iron, isn't it? You want it to get out, you want it to solder. That's all you want it to do, so, yeah. It feels quite sturdy. It feels alright. I'm a bit disappointed actually because I don't remember looking at it when I did order this a while back. And like I said, it's been sitting around. Um, but I thought it had a detachable lead, but it hasn't. So that's a, you know, obviously it, it says that and it, it, the picture of it is that. But for some reason I thought it had a detachable lead, but it hasn't. Um, but like I said, I've had this sitting in the box for oh, months. So yeah. All right. Well, I'm pretty pleased with it. You get your little cleaner. You got a sponge. You put some water on there, obviously not too bad the only thing is it's not very heavy it's quite light and for me that may be a problem because it means it might get pushed around the desk because things tend to butt up against and push things about I like things on the bench that are quite heavy so they stand their ground you know so if you if you move something 
So if I move something and it happened to move, see look, that's moving that very easily. I like things that stay put and you can move the wires around and they just, because they're so heavy, you know? But that's just my own pre personal preference. This is very light. So, oh well. All right then, my friends. Well, it was a short one, but this is the, um, what was it again? Soldering kit station, but who is it made by? It made by Whole Life Soldering Iron Station Kit. That's who it is. So I'll put a link to the link I found of it on Amazon. I think I've got this from Amazon actually. So I'll put the link to it on Amazon in the description of this video. Uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna use this now. I've got some transistors to change, um, and I've got some other soldering to do, some PL259, some patch leads to make, some coax. I've got to go and put an antenna up for somebody, so I'll be making up some um, antenna leads and things like that for various radio projects. Um, and also some RC car projects coming up with a bit of soldering to do. So I've got plenty of soldering to be doing, so I'm going to be putting this to the test. And um, yeah, I'll catch you lot when I decide to make the re actual review video. I'll catch you next time dudes. Take care. Thanks for watching.